Okay, so in this uh, video we're going to look at how we can create our own custom collision for Unreal. Now, this is really good to do, get into the practice of creating it in Maya, um, generally because uh, it's quite fiddly to create collision in Unreal 4 for a doorway. So to begin with, I've got my doorway here. Um, it fits my Unreal character. So I shouldn't have any collisions issue with the character in-game getting through here. And what I need to do is, I'm going to duplicate, I'm going to name this um, Door Mesh. I'm going to just copy that as well, so Control C. Um, and I'm going to make a duplicate of it, so Control D. And I'm just going to use this Isolate tool. So I'm just working on this mesh. So what I need to do is, I'm going to grab these faces and I'm going to separate them, extract them I mean. Okay. Again. I'm going to grab the object and go append polygon and I'm holding shift right click to do this. Click on that. I need to delete this edge line. And I'm going to drag that up out of the group. So middle mouse button allows you to drag. Control V, but I'm going to call this UCX underscore. And I'm going to give it zero, 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 two zeros. And what this does is it allows us to um, grab the, it's telling it's, it's telling Unreal it's a collision and it's a mesh zero, zero because we're going to have three meshes at least for this doorway. Now, I'm just going to go into the So, if we want to isolate this, you can see this is a perfect collision box for this door. Okay, now I'm going to grab this other one and again, just isolate that a minute. I'm going to grab this bit here and extract that. Again, I'm going to grab the object. I'm going to go append polygon. I'm going to put the pivot in the top corner and isolate. And you can see now it's changed it to zero one. I'm going to hold that and snap it to the vert over here. And then with this final one, again, I'm just going to repeat the step that I did for the first one. Move the edge. You go control, delete it, or delete it and get rid of all the vertices. I'm going to just grab that. And then again, control C, control V. I'm just going to change the prefix as well. And there you go. So you've got all your collision and then your original mesh. So make sure you select all of them, go to delete the history, freeze the transformations, and make sure this this one here, the pivot is in the correct place. It doesn't matter for these as such, because these are, Unreal's gonna recognize them as collision meshes. Okay, click on them, export. Now what I'm gonna do also is this. I'm gonna copy that name. This is why you should really name your stuff in Maya. Use that export selection. Okay. And if we go back to our scene that we created and find where we're saving stuff. You still got this in. If you go right click finding content browser, it'll tell you where it is, luckily. That's anything in scene. So if I wanted to find in content browser, right click and it will find it me in the content browser. So import. 
Now I don't need to auto generate collision because I'm doing it myself. Okay. Um, but the rest we can leave ticked. So import. Now when I drag this in, snap it to there, put a play. There we go. We have collision that we've brought in from there. Okay. So Unreal Collision is really good for straight pieces, but if you want to create your own collision, UCX underscore allow you to do that. And we have a doorway. And if we just have a quick look at it inside of here, you can tell it's the collisions. Okay. Um, hope this set of tutorials have been good and useful for you. Um, I will be doing more tutorials about the material uh, editor, the material shaders. Um, also looking at um, light maps as well in the next set of tutorials. Um, so yeah, thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next tutorial, set of tutorials.